Hi there, this is 2024's all new Asus ZenBook 40. One of the most versatile laptops I would say. Firstly, it's super light and ultra thin. 3K 120Hz OLED display with touch support. Impressive performance and stellar battery life. Let's quickly touch upon the specs. It's powered by the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor. Intel Arc graphic, 32GB RAM, 1TB NVMe SSD, it's running Windows 11 out of the box and it's priced around 1 lakh. The price might vary depending on the variant you pick. Let's start with the build and design. So this is the blue color, it's more like midnight blue. Subtle and at the same time very eye catchy. This is all aluminium built which gives it a very premium feel. The lid also has this Asus A logo that looks really cool. Then there's the ZenBook branding as well at the bottom. Glad it's got a matte finish. Definitely no fingerprints, but some smudges are noticeable. It's quite thin at just 14.9 mm and weighs under 1.2 kilograms. So portable, super light to carry along anywhere while you're traveling. Now this lid opens just with one hand, which I find very important. That split second to open the laptop and start working is priceless. By the way, this lid goes all the way lying back at 180 degrees. So now you don't have to worry about the display hinge getting damaged and you can set it as per your preference. Coming to the ports. So on the left is a single USB-A port, Gen 3.0. On the right is an HDMI 2.1 port, headphone jack and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. By the way, both Thunderbolt ports support charging and that's such a blessing. Coming to the display. Now that's a 14 inch 3K OLED display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800 pixels. The color reproduction is absolutely gorgeous. Since it's a high resolution display, everything is crystal clear. 120 Hz refresh rate provides the much needed smoothness to the interface. Animations are buttery smooth and they're mostly noticeable while scrolling on a website. It's also a treat for gamers. By the way, it supports 100% of DCI-P3 color gamut with TUV Rhinelet certification for low blue light emission. Hang on, there's more. It also comes with a touch display. And usually I'm not a fan of laptops with touch support, but I realized how much I'm using this feature when it's available. Best part, it's super responsive and works really well. If you're worried about scratches, don't be. The display comes with Gorilla Glass protection. Also, ASUS claims 550 nits of peak brightness. So using it outdoors, at a cafe, or in a bright office space shouldn't be a problem. Then the bezels around the display are also extremely thin, especially the one on the sides. The top bezel houses the full HD webcam for video calls. There's also a privacy shutter, which I know a lot of people prefer. The clarity is actually quite good. We briefly tested for a quick video call and the overall experience was very impressive. It automatically detects you and follows your motion for better webcam experience if you're moving around. The inbuilt microphones also come with AI noise cancellation. They sounded very clear to the opposite person. Then watching movies and TV shows are a treat on this high resolution OLED panel. Looks absolutely stunning. It's vibrant, it's punchy with pitch perfect deep blacks. Content from apps like Netflix stream at full 4K without any lag or stutter. We even tested 4K HDR videos from YouTube and they too worked flawlessly. The laptop also comes with two built-in Harman Kardon speakers plus Dolby Atmos support. You can spot the Atmos logo on the Netflix app. Time to see how they actually sound. <laughs> I want you to find your peace. So, usually we don't expect too much from laptop speakers. But Harman Kardon speakers will blow you away. It gets surprisingly loud and you don't even need to wear earphones to watch a movie. Of course, unless you don't want to disturb the person sitting next to you. It also gets very clear. It actually has decent amount of lows as well. I mean, it's got that bass and feels really, really rich. With Dolby Atmos and 3K OLED display on this laptop, this is a paradise for media consumption. Coming to the keyboard. So it's a nice, wonderful, well-spread chiclet keyboard. The key size is actually quite big, making it even more convenient while typing. It's backlit, so it can be used in the dark. You can adjust the brightness or completely turn it off. 
when it comes to the typing experience, it comes with 1.4 mm key travel, giving you the much needed feedback. It's an amazing experience. My favorite part, it's absolutely silent. No clicking sounds and that feels so nice. You are absolutely going to love it. Coming to the trackpad. Firstly, it's very responsive and works pretty well. Must add, it supports all the Windows gestures which come very handy in day-to-day -day use. The best part, press this button to enable the backlit numpad on the trackpad. It looks so gorgeous. And now, you can type numbers really quickly. It's ideal while punching in numbers on an Excel sheet. Coming to the performance. So it's powered by the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor. The variant we have came with 32GB LPDDR5X RAM. And that's the newest variant of RAM currently in the market and the best performance. 1TB NVMe SSD with Intel Arc graphics. So to simply put it, it's a powerhouse. I'm personally not a benchmark fan, but just to give you an idea where this laptop stacks up, here's PC Mark 10. We get the total score of 5842, which is pretty good. But the other thing to notice is the digital content creation scores. Really good score for photo editing and video editing as well. Then we ran Geekbench and we get 2293 on the single core and 11,883 on multi-core. Then we ran Cinebench R23 as well, single core score of 968 and multi-core score of 8795, which I think is pretty good. It comes with Windows 11 pre-installed and the performance is very, very snappy. It literally blazes when it comes to multitasking and opening closing apps. Day-to-day -day tasks like Microsoft Office, email, surfing the web, they're such a breeze. In fact, we even used Photoshop and it didn't show any signs of lag. You can see there are multiple layers open and we are editing between images, worked really, really well. We briefly also tested Premiere Pro. This is a 4K video that we are editing. I won't say it's for professional video editing, but still, it could handle it pretty swiftly. Coming to gaming. So what we did is start from the basics. We downloaded the Asphalt 9 from the Microsoft App Store and it worked so well. It almost felt like playing on a console. Then we even played Counter-Strike 2 and Valorant. Of course, do make sure you're plugged into the power for the best performance. If it comes to these kind of games, you are absolutely going to nail it. It's going to be a very, very fun experience. Something specially worth mentioning is my Asus app. It basically consolidates all the info about the device, giving you all the control. Firstly, you can see the battery, the CPU load and so much more. Then in device settings, power and battery, you can change the fan profile, memory allocation, sound modes, volume booster and so much more. Run system diagnostics, check for updates, customer support where you can go through FAQs, contact Asus customer care, look for repair centers and repair status if any. And trust me, I have barely scratched the surface. It's a very, very helpful app from Asus. Coming to the battery. So we get a 75 watt hour battery that will easily last you a full day of work. It comes with an OLED display, which drastically helps reduce battery drain. I've been using this laptop for about four to five days, though not heavy, but it worked for four to five hours and I still had about 20 to 30% battery remaining. So I'd say the battery life is solid. Then you get a 65 watt USB charger, which charges this laptop to full in about two and a half to three hours. Also USB-C charging support, which is very convenient. So technically you can even charge this laptop using a power bank. Isn't that cool? All right, final thoughts. I could almost call the 2024 ASUS ZenBook perfect, but it's not. Surprisingly for 2024, there's no fingerprint scanner to unlock this laptop. It's not a big deal, but yes, entering a pin or password every time you close the lid can be a little nerve wracking, but it truly compensates when it comes to one of the best OLED touch displays in its category, awesome sturdy metal build and impressive performance. The Intel Core Ultra 7 variant is priced around 8000 There's also an Intel Core Ultra 5 variant, which is priced around 96000 It's ideal for students and business entrepreneurs. I'll share the links of both these variants in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.